All right, this is my Lorex security system, and that's my HDR, um, the recording device for all my cameras. I have eight cameras. And I wanted to show you something really quick. Um, all my cameras are, are plugged in and running right now, eight of them. And what I did is I went and bought it a bigger um, AC to DC power pack. It's a 12 volt, 10 amp power pack I got off Amazon for I think like less than $20. And I put all the cables on through this monitor and all of the cameras are off, working off that one power supply right now. Now it's daylight, so these things aren't drawing that much current. Um, I wanted to show you what kind of current and voltage it's using. Um, after all the load, it's providing 11.3 volts at 1.05 amps. So we're talking about like um, 11, uh, 11 watts are powering all eight cameras right now during the day. And we'll see what it does um, at night. It, do, it jacks up those, um, those power ratings, but right now it's using 11 watts. Now, just for fun, I put the um, 12 volt 5 amp power adapter in there, and it's basically using the same amount of voltage and current as the 12 volt 10 amp power adapter. As I said, we'll, we'll try this at night and we'll see if it can actually support those camera systems. I might even put the original power adapter, which is a 2 amp one, in there and see what happens. This is with a 2 amp 12 volt power adapter that comes with the system. All eight cameras are on one device. Um, it did drop the um, voltage some and the current went up a little bit. But I don't think you could run the camera off one adapter. We'll find out later. Okay, it's late at night now and you can notice that the um, monitor is showing it's drawing 10.9 volts. 2.41 amps with one 10 amp 12 volt adapter. Um, I think the voltage is actually too low for it to work properly. You may not get as many alerts from your system with this kind of voltage running on the cameras. So I'm going to actually put more power packs to the uh, some of the cameras. So be careful.